Hi guys, Nay from our humble homestead here and today I wanted to share about pruning fruit trees. Now these are my small fruit trees. I've got a pear here and a couple of apple trees and I wanted to show you how to prune a young tree so that you can get it to the shape that you want and you don't cut off anything that you shouldn't. So what you want for a really good young tree is to create like a goblet shape which you can see here you've got the main trunk and then I've got four big four or five is ideal branches coming off the main stem trunk whatever you want to call it so here it's called um, this a grafted tree it's called the rootstock and um, it's a bit easy to see on this pear tree here and it's grafted this is the main tree but this is where it gets its vigor from it's a semi-dwarfing rootstock so they've um, grafted it onto another root for it to grow into like a semi-dwarf tree it doesn't grow as big as the usual massive pear tree if you were to plant it in the ground now i'm keeping mine in pots until we move to our forever home so i'm just going to up pot them every year to a bigger one and keep on adding nutrients to the soil so you never ever want to plant your tree if you're planting yours in the ground lower higher sorry higher than this rootstock you want to make sure you keep it way above the ground um it needs to breathe so yeah this one is the one we're going to be cutting today and you just want to make sure that all your branches are outward facing and you create that goblet shape like i said so this one's perfect actually i like the way it is it's not going inwards it's not like dodgy wonky branches i think it looks quite pretty but there is a couple here that i want to snip so i don't want any branches going inwards and fruit hanging that way i want to create good strong stems and my fruit to hang nicely out this way so as it gets bigger it can also support with my strong stems it can support lots of fruit so I'm going to snip that one off and double check to see there's one there I don't want that one I'm gonna hack him off there you go and I think this one's done so as you can see nice strong stems all sticking out so if you had one a tree a young tree you just bought it and had tree like branches crossing over each other or stems coming inwards you might want to chop them off and that's going to grow into a lush tree i can't wait for that to blossom and this pear tree here this one could probably do with a bit of hacking so you've got the main stem and then i've got lots going all over the place here so i want a good four or five strong stems coming off the main one i've got this one here this one here this one here and this one here at the moment and i'm probably gonna hack this little guy off because he's going inwards and i don't want that and maybe I'll leave. Actually, no, I'm going to take him off as well because I don't want that little dwindly thing in here. I want good strong leaves. And I'll leave him because he's already got some blossoms, so I think I might get a bit of fruit off this stem, but I might change my mind later on. But can you see? It's just, even though it looks bad and you might be hacking off more than you want to eventually that's going to help sustain the tree and create a really really strong um supportive sort of framework to carry lots of fruit this is my bramley apple tree just a baby seedling i got last year in the sale for just eight quid i think he was and i've already hacked him down to where i want him to be he had branches coming inwards here rubbing against each other so you can see they've all got room to breathe it's nicely spaced out branching out in the right direction in like a goblet shape and hopefully i'll get nice fruits off this maybe this year but probably next year so i hope that's helped anyone looking to prune their young fruit trees any questions drop them below and have a lovely rest of your day